can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. So let's start with the circle. Now let's put a rectangle inside of it with a side length of 4 and 5 units. Now let's put a square that is the two vertices are tangent to the circle and this vertex touch the vertex of this rectangle. Now the length of the side of this square simply equal to x. Now of course the question is what is the value of x? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to focus on the center of the circle. And now let's draw a perpendicular line directly to the side of our square. Now, since this segment is perpendicular to the side of the square, it follows that it cuts the side of the square into two equal pieces. So since the side of the square equal to x, so this piece equals x over 2 and the other is x over 2. Next, what we're going to do is to extend this segment and let's put this x in this position and this one half to this position on the other side because we will use this right triangle to answer this question or to find the value of x. Not this one, but we need another right triangle, and here it is. Now, the only problem is we don't know the length of this segment or the radius of this circle. But take note, we can use the rectangle to find the length of this piece or simply the radius of this circle. Now, using Pythagorean theorem, let's call this a C. So, using Pythagorean theorem, we can say that C equals square root of 5 squared plus 4 squared. 5 squared is 25, 4 squared is 16, 25 plus 16 is 41. Therefore, the length of this piece simply equal to square root of 41 units. And this is also the length of the radius of our circle. So we can use now this right triangle to answer this question. So we have two right triangles. And if we let this piece be equal to A and this piece be equal to B, we can say that A plus B equals X. Now, using again Pythagorean theorem to solve for the value of A, we can say that A equals square root of 41 squared, simply equal to 41, minus X over 2 squared or X squared over 4. And let's solve the value of B using Pythagorean theorem. We can say that b equals square root of 5 squared simply equal to 25 minus x over 2 squared or simply equal to x squared over 4. Now, focusing on these three equations, the goal is to find the value of x. Now, if we add these two results, we have a plus b equals square root of 41 minus x squared over 4 plus square root of 25 minus x squared over 4. Now, we know the value of a plus b. This is x. Now, our equation contains the variable x, so we cannot find the value of x. This is what we want to find. But this equation is very messy. So to make this equation look simple, what we're going to do is to let y equals x squared over 4. It follows that x equals square root of 4 times y. Now, let's set aside this result. And let's replace x squared over 4 and x. So our equation now becomes square root of 4y equals square root of 41 minus y plus square root of 25 minus y. And to find the value of y, let's square on both sides. So this is very easy to find. Square the first term and then plus twice the product of the first and the second term plus the square of the last term. Now, combining like terms, this will give us 6y minus 66 equals 2 times the square root of 41 minus y times 25 minus y. All of the coefficients are even, so divide both sides by 2. And then what we're going to do is to multiply this expression inside the radical sign, so 41 minus y times 25 minus y, and we get 1025 minus 66y plus y squared. Now, let's focus on this result. And to eliminate the square root, let's square on both sides. 
and the square of 3y minus 33. 3y squared is 9y squared. 2 times 3y times 33 is negative 198y and square of 33 is 1089. Now, combining like terms again, we have 8y squared, 9y squared minus y squared. Negative 198y plus 66y is negative 132y. 1089 minus 1025 is 64 or positive 64 equals to 0. Now, all of the coefficients are divisible by 4. So, let's divide all of this term by 4. We have 2y squared minus 33y plus 16 equals 0. Now, this equation, this quadratic equation is not hard to factor because if we factor this out, we get 2y minus 1 multiplied by y minus 16. Now, applying the zero property, we get that y equals 1 half or y equals 16. Now, we found two possible values for y. But we don't care to the value of y, we care to the value of x. And the value of x simply equal to square root of 4y. Now, let's replace y with 1 half. So the first value of x simply equal to square root of 4 times 1 half or simply equal to square root of 2. Again, let's replace this y with 16. So we have x equals square root of 4 times 16. 4 times 16 is 64. Square root of 64 is 8. Therefore, we found two possible values for x. x equals square root of 2 or x equals 8. So going back to our figure, now, which one is correct, square root of 2 or 8? Now, looking at this figure, notice that x, or the side of the square, is technically greater than 5. And square root of 2 is less than 5. Therefore, the only permissible value of x, or the only value of x that satisfies this condition, simply equal to x equals 8. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this figure, this illustration, then the value of x or the side, the length of the side of the square, simply equal to 8 units. And as always, we are done.